Hi, my name is Simply G in Homestead, and I'm going to do that there gladiator challenge, and I'm going to do, wait a minute, I'm Gail Southern Living, hey, gladiator challenge four, grow something from the grocery store. I picked a jalapeno, which was nine cents at the store, and a tomatillo, which was seven cents from the store, so 16 cents. I get to do my gladiator challenge, and I'll show you guys the next step. All right, guys, the next step is to cut the tomatillo and the jalapeno. So the jalapeno, the tomatillo has a little outer coating on it so we don't need that of course it's like a green tomato I actually use it for this dip called green dip and I'll probably end up making that during the summer when I'm producing my own might even make it with this but see how tiny the seeds are I'm just going to gather those I'm just gonna get those with a little knife and just put them onto the cutting board they're really tiny, but I think I can get quite a few of those. Should have a pretty good uh, crop. Now I have to figure out where I'm going to put these, actually. Because my beds are pretty much planted already. So, I'll figure it out. Probably not going to need all of these. We're supposed to grow two, two things from the grocery store for this challenge. Now, I have used bell pepper seeds, jalapeno seeds, tomatillo seeds... Uh, uh, cantaloupe seeds, different things like that from the grocery store. So, now I'm going to cut the jalapeno. I really should have worn gloves for this. I never learned my lesson every time I cut the jalapeno without gloves. Most important thing when cutting your jalapeno, do not rub your eyes or pick your nose. <laughs> ha ha ha. So, um, because it would be very painful. Um, and it takes forever to get out of your eyes. Uh, I was trying to Google that one day while jalapeno juice was in my eye. Completely a hard thing to do. So, best to know how to get the jalapeno stuff out of your eyes before you do it. Because by the time you do it, it's going to be too hard to look it up. Alright, see how many seeds are inside? Let me cut on this some more. Do some more cutting. I like this challenge because um, I've actually done this before with planting seeds from the store. Now, I two years ago, I saved my cantaloupe seed. And last year, I grew from the seed that I had harvested from the ones I'd got from the grocery store the year before. So, look how many seeds that has in it. It's a ton. Yeah, there's a lot of seeds inside of there. I'm just going to pull that out. I'm not even going to need all of these. Now, the seeds that we're using, we're not going to dry them at all. We're just going to we're just going to flick them into the pot and that'll be it. However, this is more jalapenos than I actually need. So, the ones I'm not using, I will be drying to use for next year or to save for seed trading. So there is quite a bit of jalapeno seeds in here. So we're supposed to grow two of each plant and then we're going to weigh it. So probably won't get a ton of weight from these, but it's fun to do the challenge anyway. And if I could get a jalapeno this big, that would be a pretty good size jalapeno. Tomatillos pretty much are always this small size, but if you got enough of them, you know, if you got enough of these, it could add up to some weight. But these are just the things that I still wanted and needed to plant. So that's why I chose these two particular items. I will bring you back when I figure out where I'm going to put these. Okay, so I'm going to do the Gladiator Challenge put out by Willie Grow for Shed Wars. And I picked jalapeno and tomatillos. So I got my seeds right here. I put twigs in the bottom of this, then I had a bag that I was growing kale in. I'm recycling that soil. So there's a little bit of kale inside of it. I'm not too worried about that. If some kale pops up, I'm not worried about that. It can just grow with it. But 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of mine in the same bucket. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so I recycled some soil. I have twigs in the bottom that's good for drainage. Now this is a cow manure compost. Okay, I'm going to add some bone meal to it. I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to put some of that in there. Now I know I'm probably going to have to go to Walmart and grab some more soil. I'm going to go ahead and add some fertilizer in since I have it already. I'm just going to mix all this together. You can see the kale in there from the kale and some roots. So I'm basically recycling my soil here. Okay, I'm going to put some more of this in here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and run to Walmart, get some more soil. Huh, that actually came out of the, the compost bag. It looks like it's got roots in it. Hmm, interesting. All right, so I will bring you back for the next step. All right, here's my gladiator challenge four. I'm going to plant my jalapenos in this tote. Okay, I'm going to poke a hole there for one, poke a hole here for two. Uh, John at Will It Grow said it said we needed to do two plants of each so I'm going to put my seed in here okay and there you go I'm just gonna cover it up all right I'm gonna put that one to the side and I'm going to put my tomatillo in here Okay, and these are little tiny, tiny seeds here. Okay, there's that. And there. Okay, cover those over. So I have jalapeno on this side, tomatillo on this side. Now, I've been having trouble with my labels. So I actually laminated this one. I'm going to tape it to the front so that everyone will know that I have two jalapenos and two tomatillos and this is for my gladiator challenge four so I am officially entering gladiator challenge four and today I'm wearing my autism awareness shirt so I would like to shout out my sissy-in-law free Henley made if you are not subscribed to her please go by and check her out I will put her link in the description box have a great day guys be blessed do something kind. Bye, guys.